measurement of length. Length is defined as the separation or distance between two points in space. Measuring devices. For measuring the length of any object, we require to choose a proper measuring device. For example, ruler, steel tape, and flexible tape, yardstick. Measuring with a ruler. A ruler is a measuring stick marked with units for measuring along its edge. These can be made of plastic, cardboard, wood, metal, or fabric. These can be either English inches or metric centimeters units of measurement. Reading a ruler starts with understanding what all of the ticks mean. The largest ticks on a ruler represent a full inch, and the distance between each large tick is one inch. The large ticks that are in between the inch markings are half inch markings. And the distance between an inch tick and a half inch tick is one by two inch. Metric rulers have centimeter and millimeter markings. The large markings on a metric ruler represent a centimeter. The small ticks on a metric ruler represent a millimeter. There are ten millimeters in a centimeter, and so there are nine millimeter ticks. Between each centimeter tick. Proper placement of scale. Measure the length of the block by placing the scale in two different positions, as shown in Figure A and B. Figure A represents the correct position of the scale to measure the length of the block. Figure B represents the wrong placement of the scale. In this position, you will measure more than the actual length. Hence, for correct measurement of length, the scale should be placed along the length to be measured, as shown in Figure A. The scale should be placed very close to the object to be measured. When the zero mark of the scale is damaged due to the repeated use. The left end of the scale carrying zero mark gets damaged. So, in order to measure the length of the object, we actually do not start from zero mark of the scale. In such cases, you should use any other full mark of the scale. Then you must subtract the reading of their full mark from the reading at the other end. For example. The reading at one end is 1.0 centimeters, and at the other end is 5.5 centimeter. Therefore, the length of the object is 5.5 minus 1.0 is equal to 4.5 centimeters. Proper position of the eye while reading the scale. Due to the thickness of the meter scale or ruler. The eye must always be placed vertically above the mark being read, in order to avoid error due to wrong position of the eye. In the figure given below, the correct position A of the eye gives the reading of 1.0 centimeters. From position B and C, the readings are 0.9 centimeter and 1.1 centimeters, respectively. Thus, the readings from position B and C are not correct. Measuring on a measuring tape. Tape measures are only one of the many devices used for taking measurements, but it is the most widely used in one form or another. Tape measures come in all sizes, shapes, and the amount of length it will measure. For example, a six foot will measure anything up to six feet in length, or a twelve foot. Will measure up to twelve feet in length, and so on. The illustration shows a sixteen-foot tape measure. Unit of length measurement. The unit of length is meter, m. There are distances much smaller and much bigger than meter. Thus, smaller and bigger units are also used. 
to measure small distances or lengths. To measure the length of your pencil or the length of your physics book, you do not require a meter rod for measurements. The length of pencil and the physics book are much less than a meter. It is therefore convenient to express these lengths in smaller units. Centimeter is taken as a unit for these measurements. One meter m is equal to one hundred centimeter cm. To measure big or long distances or lengths. On the other hand, to measure long distances, meter will be an unsuitable unit. Hence, a large unit of length is needed. This unit is called kilometer. One kilometer km is equal to one thousand meter m.